Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be looking at my favorite health foods from the grocery store this month. A video by Frank Tefano, who has 102,000 subscribers. As a background, I used to follow Frank when I was um, initially a carnivore. I bought his book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet. Not bad. Poorly formatted, um, as I'm sure he knows, but the content of the book was pretty good. Enjoyed reading it, but he's went a separate way now. So I'm going to look at what he's doing now and critically analyze it based on my opinion, my um, subjective experience, and see how we go. Anyway, let's go. Let's continue. What's up? How are you guys today? I have a few new things I've been incorporating into my diet from the grocery store. So I figured I would show you. As most of you know, I'm following a liver detox diet. Must admit, since his first videos, he's become a lot better at presenting stuff. I know it's not like the best presentation, the world class or this, that, and the but he's a lot better than he used to be, to be fair. Partially because of my eight years on carnivore, partially because I took Accutane when I was younger. Point is, we have a very restrictive diet and there's only so many foods I can have. So it is nice when I do find something that I deem as minimally inflammatory, especially to add variety. There are other groups. Variety. Why do we need to add variety? I doubt the um, healthy cavemen in our past that got us to this point in time needed variety. Groups of people that have been following this diet for long periods of time that have just been doing like beef and rice or beef and beans, which, you know, we've spoken about issues with that. But, uh, you know, it's nice when you can kind of immerse yourself and understand different nutritional and culinary components of foods to make the diet easier to follow. I won't speak on him. Um at least in how he looks, but I don't know if he looks the most healthy at the moment. He looks a bit tired, a little bit run down. Could be lifestyle, but it could also be diet. We'll see as we continue to watch this. I've not watched this yet, so I don't know what he's going to say. But judging by the pineapple and tin pears, I'm not too optimistic. So the bagels are something I've been doing kind of every day with some butter from Frankie's Strange Meat, but this other stuff is more like in a pinch as it's non-perishable, and we'll start with those. I don't understand why he has to eat foods in a pinch. I, I never have to eat foods in a pinch. The only pinches I have are when I'm out, maybe with Sophie, we're on a long car ride, we don't have any food with us, we might get go to McDonald's and get, um, I don't know, some triple cheeseburger patties with no bun and no crap with it. Not the worst thing to eat if you're in the UK, we don't have um, oils and stuff on our burgers, so not too bad. But in a pinch, you should be prepared. Especially when you're at home. Those bagels. So uh, you guys probably heard me complaining that bread alone isn't in Whole Foods anymore, but there's like a market near me uh, called the Quisios, these Chichios or something that does carry it. And they also had bagels. And bread alone is like the only brand I've ever seen that only uses like flour, water, and salt. So it's really minimal ingredient. Sometimes for the bagels, they add a few more things. Funny thing about bread was that it was um, a biblical item, so to speak. It was there pretty much as slave food just to get people to subsist and live. It's not a food to thrive on, evident by our ancestral history. Um, people with the best outcomes in their life were eating bread. People with the best, um, sorry, the people with the worst outcomes in their life were eating bread. The people with the best outcomes were eating meat. Liquid malt, sugar, wheat gluten. So. Everything's still organic. The brand that I was having before I found these in that market was from Whole Foods. I'm not sure how much organic plays into it nowadays. What pesticides were put onto neighboring crops? Do those pesticides almost fly over to the next crop along? It's like one of those things, it's, it, it could be better, it probably is better than non-organic, but is it? Is it really, is it measurably better? I don't know. I don't think there's any studies on it, so I'm not sure about this one. This is still good, and what I mean by good is there's no vegetable seed oils, which are highly inflammatory, and all the ingredients are organic, and they use fresh milled flour in their bagels, and they are pretty tasty. Whole wheat flour, wheat flour, cultured wheat flour, wheat gluten, wheat enzymes, sea salt yeast, organic honey, barley malt. So from an ingredient perspective, both of these bagels are kind of similar. 
They're both excellent. They're both super, super healthy. I'm not sure how wheat and gluten come into the human diet. Again, food to subsist on, not to thrive on. Uh, the main difference is that these are like more bagely and the bread alone ones have a more cake-like texture, but they did taste a little bit fresher. So both of these for breakfast are nice. You just wake up in the morning, toast them, put a little bit of butter, honey jam, or whatever you want on them. And you have a fast, minimally inflammatory breakfast. Uh, it's good for you know people that aren't that hungry in the morning like me and just want to get... Uh... If you're not hungry, um, Frank, don't eat. If you're not hungry, don't eat. Some days I'm not hungry at all and I might push my breakfast down to 10 or 11 in the morning. Um, not deliberately, but just, just because I'm not hungry. Most days I'm having breakfast somewhere around 7 and 8 a.m. But if it has to be 9 a.m., it'll be 9 a.m. No problem. I just make sure I eat my food based on my goals. So I do consciously try to eat enough food. Frank, I, I'd follow your hunger system signals and just make sure that you're eating proper foods. Uh, their digestion going stimulates some liver detox. Now I was having some pretty bad luck with uh, with the apples uh, that I normally get, like the organic honey crisp apples. Sometimes they're not ripe. They're kind of acidic, sour. They don't taste too good. And I was thinking about canned fruit, and I figured, well, hey, they have to have some organic canned fruit, right? And I did find some. It's based on taste. He's then um, it changes to and thought, well, it doesn't taste right. Therefore, I'm going to go for a suboptimal food in a can. Then he's going to label this video, my favorite health foods. It's a contradiction. I know this seems very flippant and very um, dogmatic, but you kind of have to meet the label claims if you're going to make a video like this. And so far, he's not done it. The downside of this is obviously that it's in a can, you know, aluminum, pollutants, that type of stuff. So it's not something you'd really want to eat every day or at least throughout the year. Like maybe in the winter months, um, you can have this until the fruit comes back in season. That's what I would use this for. Uh, I the food's not naturally available to us in our external environment. Therefore, we have to find another way to get it, which doesn't match our natural environment. It doesn't seem right. It doesn't quite seem right. I mean, I'm over here in the UK, in England. Um, we can't get a lot of these foods, guys. We might be able to get pears and apples. Things like that. Maybe lettuce, cabbage, you know, whatever. But most of the year we don't grow these foods. Um, if we went out right now, 50 miles radius of my house, as I am right now, I might get some berries, but I'll be getting things like, I don't know, beef, fish, eggs, milk. Um, there's not a lot in terms of vegetation around us. So although seasonality comes into it, I think the ge geographical origin comes into it as well. I don't know where in where he lives. Imagine the state somewhere. Pineapple comes into it. I'm not sure. I tried it and it tastes better than a bad fruit, but it's not as good as a really good fruit. So like these pear halves in pear juice and these pineapple slices and pineapple juice, there's no added sugar or salt or anything. So it doesn't like increase the palatability. Uh, the pears were okay. The pineapples were pretty good, but I, I try not to eat pineapple too much. The uh, the enzymes in the pineapples can be a little hard on the lip. If you did your research, you'd realize there's no active enzymes within canned pineapple. They're dead upon pasteurization, upon canning. This is why, guys, if you're going to have fruit, it has to be real. Ideally organic if it affects you, um, at least in your area of the world, where organic status might indicate more healthfulness. But outside of that, don't eat it. Do not eat it liver so it's not a fruit i would do every day uh so like if you get a bunch of apples or some fruit that you don't like too much like it was out of season and they still sold it in the grocery store then these are a pretty safe backup plan it's nice to have a few of these in your pantry um, and especially the the juices so as you guys could see there's you know a few different brands here that make this product and and the canned fruit wasn't that expensive i think it was like uh two to four dollars a can depending on what it was Two to four dollars, so about one pound eighty to three pound sixty, maybe in my country. That's absurd. That is very bad. That is expensive, and that is too much to pay. You can probably get, I'm guessing, a pound of meat for that sort of price over in the states. It seems like a a mixed match in terms of 
health priorities are. Was, but these glass bottle juices are very expensive. They used to be seven or eight dollars each, and they actually bumped the price up to ten. So I stopped buying them. But they will put them on sale occasionally. And the the issue with juice is that it can kind of fuel candida growth really rapidly. And don't eat it. Don't eat it then. If there's an issue with the food that you're eating, um, do not eat it. And I think you kind of alluded to this at the start. There's a toxicity level to different foods, fruits, meats, things like that, I guess, which kind of makes sense, yeah. Um, a mostly beef diet is going to be the healthiest one. A fruit? Nah, forget about it. And give you diarrhea and poor digestion. So, you know, sometimes when I feel good and I'm like hungry and I'm kind of craving sugar, I'll have some of this with one or Craving sugar. So that might suggest the gut microbiome isn't naturally compatible with what we're meant to eat not ideal not ideal it's fueling the sugar addiction which we always see it's time time again if you guys watch my videos where i've analyzed different bodybuilders diets and things it's always feeding the sugar addiction always it'll be justified in whatever way they can or two of my meals but it's important not to overdo it just to make sure your digestion stays smooth uh, these are just organic juices pasteurized in glass so yeah, they're not raw, but it's basically the only acceptable juice that I would drink from the supermarket. We have the apple here and we have the pineapple. You know, when they do the apples, they keep the peels on. And again, the pineapple has the enzyme. So they're not quite as good as like an organically peeled apple that's fresh. You know, by any means, they're not as good as that, but they're still passable and it's okay to have, you know, a few times a week. And uh, you guys know we always go for organic because when there's pollutants, pesticides, and chemicals in the food, it inhibits your liver function. You don't feel good. The toxins accumulate. And uh, you, you know what else inhibits effective liver function? Fructose, which is found in fruit. You're telling me fruit juice is good for you. Okay. All right. You can't really heal and recover. So the priority is to go organic with everything make sure we're not choosing foods that are too high in anti-nutrients and if we can take it a step further we eliminate everything like make sure the water is high quality no fluoride and chlorine all that stuff uh so that's really it guys i got these at my local market maybe i'll put uh the canned fruit and stuff on my amazon shop uh we've also been doing a few kind of new things from frankie's syringe meat we got in some iberico pork tenderloin that i've been eating and I, we also ground it up it's expensive, but I've been enjoying that in my diet. And uh, the roast beef for lunch as usual. He seems to eat a lot of pork. I know in his older videos, he ate a lot of pork. Makes me think he needs more vitamin B1 because he's consuming so many carbohydrates. If you look at the um, biochemical pathways around that, it'll make more sense to you guys. I suggest watching a video by Harry Sopanos on B1, which is thiamine. Worth watch of course and we might do a new prime rib so guys definitely check out frankie strange meat frankie strange foods there's probably a few things you can incorporate to add some variety into your diet in addition to maybe any new and interesting products that you see from your local grocery store but i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video uh, i kind of want to do a day of eating but maybe we'll just do it tomorrow or next week I didn't have the energy uh you're doing all this sugar which um, people say is energy you don't have any energy Frank, I, I, I did really used to like your videos, honestly, I really did. Um, I've suffered with chronic fatigue syndrome since I was about 13, 14 years old. I never figured about not having energy. I can say the diet I'm following now is much better, much better. I don't have heaps of energy, but my energy is much better. So look into it again. Um, but we'll talk about that another time, so... You guys know that you can go to frank com to see all of those interesting businesses. And as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. It seems to me like he's a serial entrepreneur. Like he's kind of got an idea. He's like, well, let's kind of health hack everything from every single angle. I think that's good. You know, I, I can't speak on all of the things that he's doing, but um, it seems useful. You know, he realizes diet isn't the only thing, which is, I quite like that. But the diet he's sort of saying is healthy right now. Come on. He said to himself in this video, it's not healthy. So, I don't know. It seems like clickbait to me. Never mind, eh? Anyway, that was a waste of time. Um, anyway, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like below. Leave a comment as well. 
subscribe if you have not yet already. Thank you very much.